Hello guys and welcome. Today I want to talk about the track bar control. So the track bar allows us to change values. In fact, it allows your users to change values. We have two flavors of the track bar. We have the vertical track bar and the horizontal track bar. So, as you can see right there, by default, the few color or the unoccupied color or space which the track bar increments toward to, that is the few color. We can change it to any color. We can change it to black or to any color. By default, you may need to change this to a lighter version, which shows that the track bar is not yet reached this area. Of course, we have the thumb, which shows the the thumb which shows the current value. We would like to take a label and we would like to display some values there. Right. So this track bar, I would like to take the name of the track bar and <coughs> let's go back. So we want to capture the change want to capture the change event so when the value changes sorry the autocomplete here is um, really suggesting something else okay I don't know what's happening with my autocomplete this is the value changed event that we have here and we want to do something when the value changes. We want to take this label and we want to display some value. So the text of this label is going to be the value of the track bar. Now we've all set everything. Let's change the size to 16 so let's change the track bar value to 0 and let's change the text here to 0 let's run the application and let's see the changes that we get so let's give visual moment uh, visual studio a moment to build and let's run okay Sorry, I forgot to change this to string, to cast it to string, value to string, because the text here is a string. So the value here is int, it has to be changed to string. Let's run the application. Sorry for that uh, silly mistake. <laughs> so let's wait a few moments and see what we get. Now, when the value changes, it's reflected here. So the minimum is 0, the maximum is 100. And we can also use the mouse wheel as well. So what customizations can we make? Well, we're going to see that we can change the thumb color. We can change almost anything. So let's see how we can change that. We're going to change the thumb color. And this is the fill color, a shade of gray. The value to which the track bar increments toward to. So let's change to a shade of gray, a lighter shade of gray. Smoke white. I am sure, I hope you guys can see. Maybe let me change to a lesser value so that you can see yes let's change the thumb to black there it is so when the form loads we just want the value of the text here to match the value of the bar of the track so, so we say form load here when the form loads and here when track value 
is updated or when the track value changes here as you can see here when the track value is updated or or changes we have handled the value changed event so we can also change the appearance of this track on hover we want the fill color to remain the same but we're going to change the thumb color to a shade of green we can also change the large change value to 50 and we can set the maximum to 1000 and the minimum is set to zero yes so um, the small change is one and the large change is 50. we can also change the default styling it can be a metro style or it can be a default style let's run and see what we get let's give visual studio a moment to save our changes to build the application and then it will show us the result there you have it as you can see when we hover the thumb changes color and remember the maximum is 1000 and the minimum is zero so let's say we want to preset the value of this track we just do it in code or we can do it when we are using the form so let's preset the value here let's say preset value and we can say the value of this track bar is 25 because it's an integer here as we can see so this will work let's run the application so let's wait a moment to save the changes to build our application and let's see the result there you have it there you have it so for the value to be value to be updated how we place these code matters let's change here so the value is going to be set first and then the text to is going to be updated by that value let's run one more time and see let's give it a moment to build and let's save the changes and see the result there you have it now the result is shown so i invite you please guys to go ahead and try this we have different flavors we have the vertical one and we also have the horizontal one the vertical one allows you to take advantage of the vertical scroller or you can use the horizontal one for this horizontal scroll bar so let's let's see what we have there so let's allow the forms to load and there is the vertical one by default we have this track bar in the framework dotnet framework so we have taken the properties that you find here and we've added many features to this track bar and we've created two different flavors we have the vertical one and we have the horizontal one so thank you guys for watching and very pleased to go ahead and try to use this track bar we have some customizations we can make here feel free to use them you can change the hover state you can set the minimum the maximum and you can also change the style if you have any questions go ahead comment or send us an email we promise to reply all the emails that you sent thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next